North Carolina is home to many styles of music and the musicians that create it. Asheville is one town which has a large collection of talented musicians. In my travels to the region, I found one man who has released an album which describes his love for all things North Carolina. In a small garage studio at his home in Asheville, Chris Cates and members of his band gather on a snowy afternoon to write and practice new songs. I guess first of all my brother always had musical friends around the house, so I always playing drums or uh, trying to sing some Iron Maiden or something like that while they were playing along. And, uh... Over the years, Cates' musical appreciation expanded to country, then blues, but it all developed from rock. Eventually uh, saw Copperhead, this band from our hometown of Morganton play, and they were getting a record deal and getting big, and it was so huge and so awesome. I was like, I've got to be out front, and I've got to play guitar and sing. Carolina moon keeps shining down from above the trees and above the clouds. In 2009, Cates went back to his family roots in the state and started writing Carolina songs. I just love the mountains, and uh, of course the beach is great too, so it's, it's it was a no-brainer kind of making tunes inspired by that and I also reach back to my youth to um, pull some old songs that we you know to really capture that that youthful exuberance towards uh, towards the mountains and the Carolinas. With Chris he's just you know he's so all over the place and you never know what's going to come next and it's just it's just been a real pleasure working with him especially on this current album it's, it's been fantastic. Cates had moved away from his home state to live in Athens Georgia for a while to work on his music it was there that he realized where he needed to be, back home in the mountains of the old North State. The people in the Carolinas, they have a lot of pride for the Carolinas, so it's something they can tap into and they can feel the emotions too. Because the album, and really, it and just novelty songs about places in the Carolinas, it's songs that are inspired by my life in the Carolinas, which is like, you know, loves, lots of love stories, you know, and heartbreak and just fun excursions. And then, and uh, got the Carolina Wind is about, you know, coming home back to the Carolinas. I'm on my way, but it's gonna take a while. I'm getting closer by the mile. That's one of my newer songs. It's one I really, uh, appeals to me a lot because I'm often driving up the mountain, just like the song says, back home to my girl from Burke County, which is <laughs> where my wife, Adair, is from, along with them. songs are inspired by his life lessons of love, travel, and family. You know, if the feeling's there and the inspiration's there, it's, it's uh, pretty, you know, pretty easy and it goes along with whatever I'm doing at each point in my life. Like, back then I did a lot of stuff about the mountains, like, kind of like I'm doing again now, and, you know, you, uh, you delve into other stuff, like silly songs and comedy songs and love songs, you know, tra tragic relationship songs, you know, of course. You know, you got to have your heart broken a few times to write a few good songs. As far as the approach, it's been a, it's been a lot different. Um, you know, there was no overdriven guitars. It's all very clean. It's all, like I say, a little different than things that we've released in the past. Um, you know, we'd always been kind of a little more rock oriented. Um, you know, but with this, it's kind of it's kind of more relaxed. But you know, the energy's still there and really high, especially in some parts of the My dad, Jim, he he grew up at Carolina Beach in the in the 50s and uh, lifeguarding down there back when beach music and shagging, shag dancing and shagging was, you know, kind of starting to get started and getting more popular. So he's been around it for, you know, 50 years shagging and he's what you call a classic hot dog style shagger. He just he gets out there and goes crazy, you know, on the dance floor. And Many of the songs go back to Kate's family love for beach music and the shag dancers of the Carolinas. How these people show up every week and dance. So, you know, it's beach music, even though it's cold outside like right now, you know, it's snowing here. Just, they're, the shaggers are probably going to meet somewhere tonight and shag. Kate even wrote a special song about his dad called Beach Beat. Old rubber legs is on the loose again. Started with a song called Beach Beat, which is a song directly about dad and his uh, rubber legs. It's, called, it's about rubber legs. Jim is the character in the song, which is loosely based on dad. 
and it's about you know shagging and just the art of shag dancing itself and and the, you know having fun doing it and tying it to the Carolinas. Whether you're in the mood for a song about your time at the coast, and the other one jumps right in. or a visit to the mountains, Chris Cates' Carolina songs can put you in the mood. To hear more of Chris Cates' Carolina songs or any of his other albums, log on to www.chriscates.net. We also have a link on our website at unctv.org. Just click on the web links icon.